first hit the like then subscribe and hit the bell Dorf. waking up back home oh he's in villain he got knocked out yo <laughs> Listen to his voice. It was all a dream. What a nightmare. This is how Thorfinn would talk if he never lived his thuggish life. Right. Still At this swole. age, still dumb swole. Oh, no. Meanwhile. I like being knocked out. <laughs> right. Enar, he won? Oh, no. Got him tired. <laughs> Let's go, Enar. <laughs> <laughs> Catching these slave hands. Mm -hmm. Who beneath who? Yeah, just located his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, one fight no more. <laughs> Y'all better not snitch. Mm -hmm. Carry your wounded. <laughs> okay. He looks real right there. Yeah. Thorfinn. Dang. Get up, Thorfinn. Nah, you can't. He started it off. <laughs> and he knocked out the toughest one. <laughs> yeah. Still dreaming. At least he's having a great dream, as opposed to him being in a nightmare. Right. Dad. He looks sad. He's about to get a whooping. Mm, on you. I'm disappointed. Ooh. Mama. Enar. Ah. Who is this child? That's Enar. I spoke too soon. Mm. Not killing others. すまなかったと。トルフィン、お前にはまだ伝えるべきことが教えなければいけないことがたくさんあったのに。ああ。違うんだ。父上。I ヘルダンバダンデーモンスイニモワカルダロ誰にも敵などいないんだ。だ。けどウェイフォーユーデッド。傷つけて良いものなどどこにもいない。いなかったんだ。かヘゾンソウスス。いや、コミングアフターヒ
Oh, he's a guru. He's still stuck on the pillar. Yo. Alright, go to the light already. Mm -hmm. Stay up there with your dad on the earth. あの世だってのは超大変じゃねえ。あの世ってのはもっといいところだ。あ、ウィンヘイディス。うつしをそのものだろうが。さ、キープゲームな。もう。戦士が最後に行き着くところ。ここじゃ自分以外は全員敵な
Yeah! Ah! He woke himself up. That's how he wake us up all the time from all his dreams, too. That's what he's been forgetting. What he just went through in that dream. Nightmare. I think he remembers now, though. The pep talk with Ascalade. And Pops. Yeah. Where's Enar? That's what I'm saying. Normally he's sitting there and then sound like finally you woke up. Yeah, Is Enar passed out? Passed out. <laughs> yeah, you gotta carry him back to the crib. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> I don't think so. He got a twisted ankle and everything. Yeah. Somebody put him in an ankle lock. <laughs> got him lit. まで。法政の人たちを。何の恨みもない人たちを。もうこれきりだ。俺はもう二度と人を傷つけない。もう今日で暴力と決別するんだ。Don't Follow me, son. That's what I needed to hear. Right. He told the truth. A button off his coat. Shikashi, oh my, what's your enough, Pater? She got on a camera, call it Surgoto, Stu, Sorenka. Now, how on his blood? Hmm. Hi, let gravity do its thing. Hmm. Dang, that episode was crazy. Let us see what he's been dealing with in his dreams, nightmares. Yeah. I think he's had that talk with Ascalab before. It's just this is the first time he remembered it. Or the first time he's been able to hear it. I think he was down there in that pool of blood going after the Ascalab. Ascalab, ch ch chill out, young man. Jump to the top of a pillar. And he made it sound like he's always hanging right there. He said up there again. Once he got empty, yeah, like he always drops. Dangles down there, holding on to the edge before he drops into that bloodshed again. And he's been there, you know, him vowing not to hurt people even before coming to this conversation here. That was a sign of him always holding on, no matter how much his past tries to drag him back down into that abyss all the way. Mm -hmm. He's dealing with that inner demon within him, but he's hanging on, though. He ain't completely gave in to the old Thorfinn. Right. It's always there. But him punching old buddy, drug him back down there again, had him on the edge. If I wake up, I might just kill folk. Get up off this farm. Get back to killing Enars and stuff. For real. Enar not safe. You can't even sleep around me. Enar is safe. It's just, that's what he's realizing now. He was out there killing young Enars. All the people I've killed, man, this could have been you, bro. Mm -hmm. You talked about your people getting killed. I was the type to do it. Right. He can't remember the faces of his victims, so he just puts Enar's face on them now. <laughs> yeah, everybody's Enar right now. Or Mama, I wanted to. It was dope saying Thorfinn and hearing Thorfinn and how he would have been if he didn't live such a horrific life. Right. Hearing his voice, you could hear the joy in his voice. The right. relief. Ooh, ooh, I thought I was out there thugging. Dang. What a terrible dream. Oh my God. Dad, oh, I'm glad that ain't me. <laughs> I'm so glad that ain't me. Papa, I'm bugging out here. Dad. Oh, you ain't bugging, son. That's your life. I smell the blood on you. Mm -hmm. Who you killed, Thorfinn? With a knife. Mm-hmm. His knife. 
yeah, his so blade. Or the one he got from his dad, yeah. Once he dropped his dad's blade, that was the start of his freedom. That was the start of him being empty, letting go of the blade that tormented his father too. That's why his father had it ducked off. You don't want to touch it no more. You can't touch right. it. Right, because it brought back remembrance of who he was and how many bodies he caught. All right. And those same victims clawed him too, trying to drag him down. But he knows how to not let the ground crumble beneath him. He stayed up top. While Thorfinn got drugged down, he's always remembering the bodies that is there, but they can only tug at him on the surface. I mean, they tug it, they pull it from the surface all the way probably down to the depths of hell and the, 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 the river of blood. It's just he's strong enough now that he can just carry him along with him because there ain't nothing you can do about it. They're going to be there regardless. They're always there. They're you can never forget there. that you did this. Period. But that's what keeps him, it keeps him where he is. Absolutely. But they still tugging at him, but the ground didn't crumble beneath him like it did for Thorfinn, because Thorfinn don't know how to deal with it yet. And he ain't already atoned and, you know what I'm saying, recreated his life, mm -hmm. got good with God, you know yep. what I'm saying? But that still looms, though. They don't disappear. They don't. What's done is done. So you got to learn how to deal with your demons on the surface and don't let them drag you back down to that abyss. <laughs> with that, you have to understand, first off, I don't have any enemies. But Thor's made it seem like he had more to tell him. Thorfinn was like, Dad, I did this though. I already knew most of what you were about to say. Yet I chose to go off on my own rage and path for vengeance. And I kind of just shined out your teachings. But I did this. You ain't got to take blame. But we do know that Thor's in his quest wasn't hesitant to throw hands when necessary. He wasn't killing folk though, but he was knocking cats out. Yeah, the new Thor's was knocking cats out. That Thor's that is a true warrior already. He slept Thor kill. I don't want Thorfinn to get set up for failure and take on an oath that he can't keep all the way because there's still that extra premise, man. This is Vanlin Saga. You're dealing with some superhuman Danes. You're going to have to box every now and then. That's part of the humbling process. That's how you change an Askeladd. Even with Thor's ability to kill, him having the ability to kill and having the humility not to was already a sign of power. Thorfinn has taken on an oath not to punch anybody else. But if he was able to carry on that oath for real, for real, then, you know, that's the whole turning the other cheek. He was doing a good job turning the other cheek. He let mm -hmm. Burman steal off on him with the sword plenty of times and cut off his earlobe. Right. But here he was protecting Enar instinctively. Yeah. And felt bad that he stole off on somebody with these blood riddled hands. He wants to get the life up so bad, but uh, even that punch drug him down. Because I Hurt was his enraged. Heart. Yeah. I lost my temper in a fit of rage. Enar was out there scrapping all day. Oh, nice. Made them retainers respect it. They had to take off though. He was getting jumped. They couldn't bring Big Fella down though. He was throwing hands. <laughs> the symbolism in hell though. Mm -hmm. The warriors going ham. Askeladd looked sick to see Bjorn, his friend down there, just in the moment. Never learned the lesson of what it is to be a true warrior. Had to die on the battlefield. Then he was going to Valhalla. Yeah. Nah, you going to where your hate and your rage and your victims lie. You can get to fight forever for eternity. Askeladd has the sense not to just be a mindless killing machine like them, but there's no hope for him. I gotta stay down here. I died like this. There was no hope for me to get to the light. I threw that in the wind. When I killed the king. <laughs> I went to the death with this. Even when he decided he was gonna do this for Canute, it was still a path of bloodshed and murder, death, kill. Plenty of enemies. By the time he died, he had plenty of bodies right there. A pile of bodies right here on the ground. He understood what it took to be a true warrior, but he never had the chance to become a true warrior because he had enemies till the end. So he sits upon the perch, illuminated. He's got the knowledge. He understands. Sees Thorfinn on the edge. Come on, bro. What you doing back down here? You see them? It's nasty under you. Mm -hmm. That's your body count. Terrifying, actually. <laughs> you was putting that work, Thorfinn. Dang, I love it, but... I'm sorry I brought you here. <laughs> it's my fault. That's so he takes fault. responsibility. Yeah. He's taking responsibility for creating this monster. At least Askeladd gave us the words to help propel us up out of here. He's tired of seeing us, but his dad still had other things to say to him. And I think that's predicated on when you have this strength, you're supposed to do something with it. You're still supposed to protect. That'll still make you a true warrior, but you don't have enemies though. Right. You it should never be personal. First. Right. You know what I'm saying? There shouldn't be any vendettas, any grudges. It's water under the bridge. You knock them out, and you have a beer later. Yeah, the animation's crazy though. The voice acting is crazy. When they start screaming and stuff, it's vivid. Like, they sound tormented in the booth. It's heavy. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta clear the studio. 
I don't want anybody looking at me like this. Yeah. Everybody get out. Turn the microphone on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My kids got school. We bugging, bro. We bugging, bro. I wanted to try it, though. I wanted to try it. Hire us, please. <laughs> we need to just make our own dubbing or something, bro. For real, for real. We need to animate it. Give us something. Mm -hmm. I'll cry. Heck yeah, I'll give you an ugly cry. A gut wrenching scream. <laughs> They're killing it, though. Yeah, man, it's a great show. Yeah, it is. I'm a little sad about Thorfinn going away. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. He'll be back. He'll have another He'll dream and realize back. that. So you don't think Thorfinn is gonna throw a single fist for the rest of the show and that he'll be able to live to this mandate and standard. He's gonna have to save us. What's gonna be the but it won't be rage induced. Well, it's gonna be a while from now. We're slave. He'll calmly throw them hands. Anytime Thor's was beating up cats, he never had a grimace on his face. It was, it was business as usual. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was all merciful attacks too. He was hitting pressure points. Achilles. Bro was chopping armpits, chops in the neck. You know what I'm saying? That spot behind your ankles. He did still throw some uppercuts though. He lifted dudes off their feet. Bjorn in particular. <laughs> yeah, he lifted Bjorn. <laughs> he threw his hands so. I still think Thorfinn's gonna have to throw some fists, but it'll be in a calmer, more controlled manner. Cause if he gets to that point where he has to throw fists, it's the old Thorfinn. It's life or death. That's it's that, nah, nah, you know, that's his energy after he threw the fist. He was in there snapping. It again. We don't have to see that. I think it's gonna be more time. Somebody go punch at me. Mm -hmm. It's gotta Push be like him gently that. on the back, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's the Thorfinn gonna see. It's well, gonna be the Rebecca tactics. Thorfinn gone, bro. He about to be somebody different. It's, that's good. This Thorfinn is better, bro. Him being reborn, he'll become Thor's. He'll become Thor's wasn't sad. Thor's was great. Thor's was great. Even in his stance when he saved everybody, he got a long that way Thor's to go. was him. He got a long way to go. I don't think he's got that far to go. I think he'll use his hands again. Beat himself up about it. He'll be hard on himself because he just promised Enar he's taking a vow of peace. He'll have a dream and Pops is gonna reveal to him. We ain't talking about protecting folk. Mm, that was perfect. It's okay to box, son. Mm. Put the blade down. Hey, no Who's weapons these? but these, right? <laughs> you win some, you lose some. But you but get you the fight. <laughs> you get a fight on the <laughs> No, he's gonna give him the Pops talk. Eater's corner will probably be there too, say, hey man, it's all right, they deserve it. Right, for real. <laughs> I'm glad you did it. But he didn't give Thorfinn any grief. He didn't he did. understand what he was saying, but he saw his heart and was like, hey, I feel you, bro. I, I don't know what you're talking about, but- I've never seen you this emotional in your life. Right, all right, then let's get it. You know, I don't want you to go there. I don't like he might try like to control this. himself so that he doesn't push Thorfinn to a point where he feels he's got to throw fist on his behalf. Or maybe Enar becomes a guy. I'll throw all the hands in. I think I can take any of them. I'm your hooker, man. You're <laughs> right. He built his confidence up with this one. Okay. All right. You sit right there, Thorfinn. I don't know who is my enemy. Well, I can tell you who mine are. Yeah. Them Vikings, the Anglo Saxons, Those, uh... the Retainers, <laughs> the Master. <laughs> Kettle's an enemy. Uh... The way he treats Arnhe, mm -mm, I'm breaking her free. Uh, yeah. I'm that. getting my girl. <laughs> <laughs> the masters and not the old master. All them chores, putting that roof together. Nigga, you working like hell for that horse. <laughs> yeah, he appreciate the old. Nah, master. he loves the old, he master. the old master. Different. He's the only one that's not an op. Everybody else, you gonna probably end up catching them hands. Yeah, he done built his confidence up. Yeah. Now he knows he can do it. Once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now he knows he can do it. He done got stronger over the years. They Danes too, ain't they? Mm-hmm. Former Danes still too. But he's a Dane too. He's he's a Dane and he's Anglo-Saxon. He's mixed. Oh, oh, that's he's got, why both he got that brain. Yeah, that was a big dude. He got that secret strength in there. You know what I'm saying? When he was in Europe, he was acting as the Europeans. Oh, uh, but when you were Dane, when you were in, when you in Denmark, you act as the Danes do. You throw them great Dane hands. Yeah, for real. You become the big dog you were always meant to be. 
Yeah, so, yeah. Having a boys in the hood experience. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Going to meet everybody on his dad's side. They made him different. That's how we do over here, huh? Look, Kale got a heck of a body count, too. He's probably got more bodies than Thor's, though, because he's been thugging ever since. He's going through some stuff right now, though. Oh, Thor Kale? Yeah, because he can't do no killing. So it's probably making him... <laughs> What is you it you got <laughs> I don't understand what life is anymore. What if you saw him and Thor from both of them? No. Nah, he would've let go. <laughs> let me down I was there. like, yeah, the only reason why he ain't down there is because he's still alive, though. That's it. Yeah. But once he goes down there, oh, God. He's going to be a no pupil zombie like Bjorn. Hopefully, Thor Kell becomes a true warrior, though. That would be even doper. He's getting time to think about it right That's now. character development for you right there. And he always pondered. He left the idea open. And he, he regrets not following Thor's. He said, I wish I followed him. Mm -hmm. There's hope for Thor Kill too, that he could be a true warrior. He still. ran off on you, bro. He didn't want to be a big brother to you. Canute might make him a true warrior, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The essence in Canute. Right. Thor Kill's getting frustrated. <laughs> He's sweating like a crackhead. He's itching.